Yo, welcome back to another video. As you can see, finally got our hands on all the brand new add-on vehicles. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at them. See which ones you guys like the best, which ones you guys are most hyped for. You can go ahead and take them over and modify them. I'm gonna probably be doing a bunch of videos on each one individually. You can see we got the wide body R8 or 10F. You got the brand new Ponte Ruiner. It's the Ruiner ZZ8. This thing's looking cool. We got the new Camaro or the Vigaro ZX. A lot of these are looking sick. You got the wagon, the new Uber Mach coming in. This one right here is the Uber Mach Reinhardt sedan or hatchback kind of wagon. This one's gonna be fire. Check this one out. You already know I'm in love with this new Camaro. A lot of people want to see the back of it since we haven't seen it really yet, except for the few people that have got their hands on it so far. I love the taillights and we have a lot of good mods for it mainly all these cars do a lot of good aftermarket obviously this is going to be a benny's option taking the 9 sorry 10 f2 benny's it's going to be a benny's vehicle and probably one of the last ones we're going to be releasing unfortunately i wish it was going to be sooner but then again we don't know the exact dates in order which they're going to come out but you can kind of tell based on files and seems like this might be one of the last ones but they'll probably be released at the same time seeing as how one of them is non-wide body but then you can take it to the benny shop and get it upgraded we do have a couple of the other new cars that we already have in here i think a couple of them despawned just because i have so many but oh <laughs> i did have the sentinel xs wide body parked up back there but we'll go ahead and check out all the ones oh it's over here which one also the issy wide body that thing is insane looking just having them all spawned here is kind of tripping it out so some of them are popping in popping out but the main ones we probably didn't want to take a look at some of the ones we can get already and obviously the weevil right here this thing's insane i believe it's also going to be a benny's and the wide body sentinel xs so you can see the wide body kit right here and then i had a couple more back up there but they're also just the ones we already do have so far conjo sj so they just took away the whole dinka in the name and conjo sj is going to be the name of this one and this is the post lewd dinka so we got two coupes right here coupe is going to be a pretty cool addition to the game we've been wanting a new civic for a while i'm going to go ahead and do the fast and furious build with the green underglow on there i actually am surprised by this one too the new uber mach this is pretty awesome the reinhardt could already see some pretty clean sweet looking builds with this one i don't think we ever had a uber mach or bmw kind of family saloon slash wagon but the brand new addition one of my most hyped ones the camaro slash vigaro zx some people are saying this on the live stream if you missed it i will be going live more often i might do one today how similar this actually looks and how close they can get with some of these vehicles and pull it off. The headlights looking crazy, the whole bumper. This is stock too, this is before modification, so it's only gonna get more interesting as you do the mods. We're gonna have to see, these wheels are sick, but they're chrome, so they're probably not gonna be able to get the stock, even with the eye fruit glitch. Probably gonna not be able to paint those ones, but they do look really good. The wide body, the Trans Am. Ponte Ruiner and the wide body. Some of you guys wanted to hear some of the sound startup driving around, but mainly just checking them out, getting a first look here at the new vehicles. So, hopefully, you guys are having a good day. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Probably gonna do some live streaming and just show off some of the new ones. I actually can't believe I got my hands on some of the new ones already. So, if you guys are hyped for it, smack a like. If you do enjoy these types of videos, me bring some of the new content weeks before we might receive it hopefully a couple days for some of them and we'll see they might release probably the less hyped up ones sooner but who knows there's really no official release dates or orders but just from the game files we can kind of tell what the order is going to be really like this conjure right here let me know which one do you guys like the best if you had the uh, r8 or you just rock the simple slim body normal r8 I already could tell from some of the mods you can get the bumper delete, twin turbo setup, get the sheepy race build going. Hopefully we could slam it down too. See if the stance glitch works on it once we actually get officially in the game. And they end up usually adding more modifications than even when we check them out here, just in single player. They usually end up adding more modifications when they officially get released into the actual game files. So we will find out as soon as they drop. Definitely gonna be some good additions here to the online lobbies. 
and all the music world too racing we're gonna have to definitely check them out maybe drag racing some of them some of the performance and what we can expect from it with the modifications first and foremost i just want to take this one see what we can do to it as far as the customization of it see if we can take it into a penny shop or maybe just the regular los santos customs this thing does wheelies too once you get some power under the hood it would definitely be a lot better Drop a comment if you are hyped about the drifting being fixed. That was another huge thing with the update. Finally, we got our drifting back and the handling. So you can already see some of the modifications here if we just take it in the shop. We could go ahead and put the lights on there, carbon fiber. Same with the diffuser. We got carbon fiber, you can add some more fins to it. Painted with the diffuser, racer carbon diffuser. Get it fire. A little bit more aggressive. We got this one, the overkill. <laughs> It's like the wide body ones you see. Engine upgrades, exhaust upgrades. Could go for the quad pipes, hexagon. I did see some of these from the screenshots for the grill modifications. Can add in the honeycomb grill, the GT grill. A little bit more realistic to the actual Camaro as well. It's a full wheel grill on that. Looking good. I think I would probably just go for the black GT if I was going to get it. We might head over to Benny's and see if they'll let us actually do something. Get the carbon hood, get vented, nice smooth aftermarket hood, race hood, almost like the SS. Right here, I like this one. You can see the supercharger through the hood, the glass. Modification, fire, scoop hood. This looks sick. Now we'll obviously just keep it. Take a look at the liveries. You can do some stripes on it. Gonna be probably a popular one. Got the weekend racer camo on there. Volco GTO racing, Los Santos Wars, Dream Racer, Tana Racer. The little shark teeth going on. That is fire. Some window louvers for the back if you want to throw those on there. Do get kind of crazy as well. Carbon tuner louvers. Got the aftermarket ones. Race louvers, all types. You can do the mirrors carbon or you can go for some GT mirrors which actually do look a little bit more like the Camaro mirrors maybe like one generation older on the mirrors I feel like these ones actually fit with it good too these ones more remind me of the actual Camaro mirrors let's check it out in some different colors for you guys I know it's gonna be one of those cars probably looks good in every single color which I can agree seems like it does this looks so mean I love this thing already with the stock wheels before we even put any aftermarket wheels. And it looks like the secondary. And again, this might change. Obviously, I don't have any modifications, so I'm sure on the splitters and stuff, it might be affected by the secondary. But it looks like for that, it's just gonna be the stitching right here. And then we do have interior color already before it's even released. So that's good news. Cause I remember on the Hellfire, we didn't even have the ability to change the trim color until we actually got the car in game. That is looking good go for a carbon roof on it I think that looks good carbon skirts on the side there there you go there's a secondary on it I do like that look performance skirts carbon street skirts and you got the carbon super skirts really do like these good modifications already for it spoiler of course you can get that in carbon as well more aggressive aftermarket spoiler kind of similar to stock and then I could yep I already had a feeling Larry the ZL1 bumper because we can get the ZL1 splitter on there. So you can even go for some crazy big wings. Rear mounted, top mounted, and chassis mounted high level GT wing. But yeah, these are definitely going to be more like the stock wings. And then this one right here with the three supporting truts is going to be pretty much the ZL1 wing right there in carbon fiber. It is nice to see that. You can get some sun strips on there. If you would like but if i'm correct about this just like the real life camaro yet yeah, it's pretty narrow windshield on it they're super aggressive suspension looks good looks like this might change with the actual release of the car but pretty normal level lowering suspension on it transmission turbo options and then in the files it does actually say it's a supercharged car so that is pretty sweet to see and then obviously on here i do not have the uh street or track sections we just have the basic high-end sport wheels so we're just going to leave those ones for now put a light level tin on it take it out the 
is gonna be sweet. Let me know what you guys think of the new Garo ZX. Better known as the new Camaro in GTA. This thing is gonna go crazy. I already know I'm gonna get a couple of these probably. I do a couple of different builds, movie builds, just some stuff we've been waiting to be able to do for a long time. And also my street clean build. We'll be able to take to the meets, try it out on the drag racing, highway pools, see how it stacks up with some of the other great supercars, muscle cars, race vehicles that we currently love and use full time on GTA. But I know this thing's gonna add up there right next to them. Between the looks and the sound is actually pretty good. I saw some people commenting on it, so we'll see. I'm especially hyped to see about the R8 or D10, some of the other ones. Sterling Moss, that thing sounded cool when I started it up. Yeah, this one does do pretty good wheelies, and obviously we didn't do any modifications to the performance on here, so I'm sure it will only get better. And then, like I was mentioning, when they do actually add these in, oh, there you go, there's a Corvette. Finally got his cousin in. Chevy Camaro making it in. But once we finally get the official release version, could be more modifications, so definitely stay tuned if you want to see that when it officially drops in the game. I'll definitely be sure to bring you guys a bunch of videos on it as soon as possible. So yeah, I've been trying to get all these unreleased vigils. So I can do this video for you. Got to figure it out. I had to bring them in here to get a video for you guys and showcase the new Garo. So I'll catch you in the next one. We're doing the next vehicle. Hopefully you guys have a good one. Peace. Thank you.